Let's say your client is not investing in their marketing and they're like, prove to us why we should blog more or prove to us why we should do anything more. I'm just putting together this dashboard that you actually end up getting a decent amount of data. You end up making some good analysis. So I'll just share it real quick and I'll go over it. Lindsay had asked me to do a, a competitive dashboard. I'll just go over what I'm doing. I used it for HST. They just wanted to know. They just had no idea like who they thought there were, were, were their competitors weren't their competitors. They were like confused about who's actually taking market share away from them because it's not always very obvious. I think our clients think usually that this person's a competitor when in reality it's this other person that they may have never heard of, but does SEO really well or is doing paid really well. So I took all the competitors. Legacy Box is our company, but the rest are their competitors, right? In a perfect world, all your competitors will have enough data but Legacy Box's competitors don't have that much data, so it's only a few of them. So similar web, they give you a guesstimation into how much traffic they're getting every three months. And I, and I checked it myself on GA. It's off, but it's directionally correct. So basically, for example, Legacy Box in three months, they'll get 830,000 visitors. Their next biggest competitor will get 332,000 visitors. And then similar web would also tell you their top traffic channel. So for example, Legacy Box's top traffic channel is organic and it accounts for 57% of their traffic. Scan Cafe, it's half. And then for iMemories, it's 58% direct. So most of their traffic comes from direct. And then I think SEO or organic accounts for like 30 something percent. And then the other competitors are just so small and who knows what they think about them, right? They might think like, oh, scan digital is important for some reason, but they get no traffic. Organic wise, they get no traffic. Similar web also estimates annual revenue. How accurate that is, I don't know, but it just gives you an idea of how big a company might be. It'll tell you how many employees they have, roughly 50 to 200 kind of range. They'll tell you if it's like small or big or whatever. And then from Ahrefs, you pull in the backlinks and referring domains just to see, again, high level. Legacy Box clearly has more backlinks than the rest of their competitors. But if for some reason your client had significantly less, you could suggest like, hey, maybe we should try to get more links. This looks like a lot, but this is just analyzing backlink data on aggregate. So basically from here, what I like to look at is a few things, just how many crawled pages you and your competitors have. It'll tell you like how big their website is versus yours. Overall domains, where are they getting their links from? Or like for HST, they had a competitor that was partnered with the university and I was able to point that out to them. I said, your competitor supplies universities on a B2B basis. And I was able to tell them that from this analysis right here. Something interesting too, is that their next closest competitor actually has a backlink from a really high authority domain. Who it is, I don't know. I'd have to click through and find out. You'd be able to tell which competitors are maybe gaining an edge because they have higher authority domains. So maybe you then suggest hey, maybe we need to do more Harrow. Maybe we need to do more community building, you know, reach out to partners to try to get a link. It'll just show you on a high level where you and your competitors are getting their authority from. Clearly, Legacy Box is the best. They're posting two to three times a month and they don't stop. But the competitors, and you could see this just on their blog, for Scan Cafe, post two to three times a month, but they stopped on July 2021 for some reason. That was the last article they posted. iMemories posts once a quarter. So like once every three months they post. And then the rest of the competitors, no content, no content, 22 articles total. Digify two to three times per month, but they don't get traffic. So they're clearly not doing SEO. And then DVD your memories, they stopped on March, 2020. So just this alone gives you how much marketing are your competitors doing? You kind of just get an idea of, how much are they posting? Now, this would be a good analysis to do on like someone in a competitive niche because you'd get even more data. But Legacy Box, it's just small. But still, it gives you an idea of just what the competitors are doing. 
you can make a lot of inference just with this data to say, hey, we should double down on blogging. We should double down on content or your competitors are link, are getting better links. Maybe we should try a link building strategy. You can just get data basically and just give suggestions and they can't even refute it, right? If, if you say your traffic isn't growing and yet you haven't published an article in six months, maybe we'll try that for a little while. So it's like a high level marketing overview.